Hi right, guys, welcome to Shelly's Homemade and today we're going to be making turkey meatloaf. So for our turkey meatloaf, you're going to need some applesauce. I have some chopped celery and onion. I have some chopped fresh parsley. I have a half a teaspoon of pepper. Two teaspoons of garlic. Two teaspoons of onion powder. One teaspoon of poultry seasoning. A half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. A half a cup of breadcrumbs and the star ground turkey guys all right so let's get started on this quick easy meal guys so first things first let's open up our turkey ground turkey meat so this ground turkey meat is 85 percent lean and 15 percent fat all right so since it's so less on fat we just going to use um a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil because we want a juicy turkey guys a juicy turkey so this is like jump and go oh and two eggs I'm sorry guys I forgot to add my eggs but it's fine we're just gonna dump all of this stuff in here just like this don't worry about it Get that fresh parsley in there for some freshness. That onion powder in there, that flavor. Our breadcrumbs. We're gonna use a half a cup of this beautiful applesauce, guys. Applesauce is gonna give it not only flavor, a slight, not too much because this is sugar free and it's all natural and what it's going to do is going to give you a slight sweetness to the meatloaf but it also is going to give it a lot of moisture all right now go in these two eggs extra virgin olive oil just a teaspoon you don't need much not only it's going to add that flavor, it's going to help moisten the turkey. Alright, let me just get your hand in there and just, whew, use what your mama gave you. Let's just mix it in there. It's going to be a beautiful meatloaf. It smells wonderful already. I have my oven preheating on 375 degrees. So I'm going to go in the oven for 45 to 1 hour, but normally takes 55 minutes, sometimes 45, but on the normal of 55 minutes. All these ingredients and everything that I've just done, if I'm moving too fast for you guys, it is in the description box. Measurements and everything. Alright, so I have my prepared meatloaf pan and look this is how it's supposed to look just get it in there like that a little bit in there and I chopped my onions pretty fine that in the celery so that it would cook with the um the meatloaf with the turkey meatloaf going to be a pretty decent meatloaf. Now we're going to take the top and just smooth it down. Just like that. Gorgeous meatloaf guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous meatloaf. So this meatloaf, I'm not going to do a sauce. I'm going to do gravy and I'm going to show you guys when we come back because I'm about to get this into my 375 degree oven and this is also low sodium so I get this into my 375 degree oven for about 55 minutes alright I'll let you know exactly how long it took when we come back 
so get this in the oven and I'll see you guys in a few okay so now it's time to make gravy so I have my saucepan here I have two cups of water that I'm going to pull in here I'm not going to make that much gravy we're going to use couple tablespoons of flour right into our saucepan. We also have some chicken bouillon to flavor it up. I'm going to use a half a tablespoon. Just want to give it some flavor. So this is a quick gravy I like to use when I have the Get in there and whisk it all together. Now, if you want it darker, which I do, you're gonna add some some browning to this. All right. So what I want to do first is to get all the flour incorporated with the water. Get it all mixed in, whisked up, and everything. And I'm gonna show you this. Now, this gravy came from my older brother. He showed me how to do this. And it's absolutely delicious gravy, for real. Just take a couple drops of brownie. Just like this. Um, I'm going to it up. Look at that. Looks like gravy already. Now, all we have to do now is cook and stir. So, let's move over to the stove. Okay, so let's just we got this on a medium high, um, medium high, so it can come up to a boil. And as soon as it comes up to a boil, we're gonna drop the temperature, and we're just gonna keep whisking, and we're gonna cook off that flour taste. And this is a quick, easy gravy. I can feel it now; it's starting to thicken. At the bottom, not making much gravy. It was a small meatloaf. She didn't need that much gravy. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could add some more um, garlic or something. But we just want to keep whisking it. So when this come up to a boil, I'm going to come back and show you the results of this gravy. Alright, so I did decide to add just some garlic paste. Not too much, just a squeeze. Get in there. Get in there! I'm just going to whisk it in. This is going to thicken up and give us the most amazing gravy. And what this is doing, we're just cooking the flour off. And this is easy gravy. I have so many recipes for gravy. Get you that get you where you need to be with that gravy. And I can feel it thickening on the bottom. And this is what we want. We want to keep whisking this gravy. And this is like the most easiest gravy ever. You ain't got to scratch nothing. You ain't got to do none of that stuff. It's going to give you what you're looking for and the flavor. And what we're doing is cooking that, grape, cooking that flour taste out of it. And just let it go. Let's do a thing because our meatloaf is almost done. We're going to let that meatloaf rest for about 15 minutes before we cut it. But I wanted to show y'all the process of making quick and easy gravy. Who don't want quick and easy gravy? I know I do. Look at that. And you whisk.
biscuit, just like you with regular gravy, just so you know, it don't lump up and give you clunks and stuff. So what I'm doing here, homemade gravy, does not take long at all, starting to give me that gravy shine that we all love so much. Now, I know how to make gravy, but don't get it twisted. I will use those packet gravies in the New York second. Let me not feel like doing any of this stuff. I will use that packet stuff in a minute. I do not have a problem with it. Already starting this again. Oh, yeah. excellent gravy oh my goodness it doesn't need anything I'm just excellent gravy guys look at that look at that gravy oh you gotta try this gravy try and make this gravy at home all right guys so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna pause this video and get my turkey meatloaf out of the oven I'm gonna let it rest on the top of the stove for a little while and when I come back we're gonna pick this baby up use this beautiful gravy that and we'll be back all right so here's the final results of turkey meatloaf it looks absolutely delicious it's so juicy let's give it a try mm. it's really good Tastes fantastic. Soft. This is, oh, it's nice. Mm. Comment and let me know in the comment section how you guys like your turkey meatloaf. Or if you even like turkey meatloaf. Alright guys. Alright, so I'll just see you in the next video. And y'all guys have a wonderful day.